do you know that with these little tricks you can be able to skype like five candles three candles do you know that with these little tricks you can be able to raise your capital and uh, be able to have money in your account and i also want to introduce you to you can also use this uh, very strategy to trade on these uh, basket indices do you know i hope you have seen it that uh, the reef have introduced uh, usd basket uh, uh, a lot of them euro japan germany so all those things do you know that you can trade as a currency in your life trade do you know that so this strategy can help you to do that basket indices you can do it i have been able to follow it up and uh, you know we don't normally do things without first and foremost checking it check this thing this is not boom and crash but this strategy can also work for boom and crash this strategy can work completely for indices volatility and uh, anything at all volatility uh let me show you this is volatility 75 this is volatility 75 can you see it do you see we are entered the trade can you see it can you see it here so i entered based on this breakout here so unfortunately it came back but since i am i'm sure of my analysis i did not uh, I didn't close the trade since I'm I'm sure of my analysis. I didn't close the trade, so it tried and later pushed through. Can you see it? Can you see it? So I tried. The market tried. I entered here. Uh, it went to this test and later come back here. So I didn't give up on it because it didn't push through because this is where I'm supposed to put my resist. I mean my stop loss. So. I tried it then and allowed the market to push through and the market is still pushing the market is still pushing so it's still trying the it's still consolidating again here now so which after here now I will know whether to take uh, to do my TP or move on because how do I enter one is that I analyze this market carefully using volatility 75 to remember that the same thing i'm doing with this volatility 75 is applicable to boom and crash and uh, all of these things since you can be able to manage your time frame carefully so this is one hour time frame so when i notice uh, the power we have in moving averages i was able to have uh, this knowledge then while i was analyzing this market one of the things that I've, I've, I've told us that we should always be mindful of is the power of moving averages. So when you know the power of MA, uh, mostly exponential, it gives you accurate convictions of what you can do. And once you have that knowledge, it can be easy and more easier for you to trade with more conviction. Now, since this market crossed in this very place, since this market crossed in this very place i have uh in this very direction it crossed here so i was waiting for the market for a long time so as the market crossed i should have entered this market in this place because this is where it crossed this last uh, resistance zone this one was the first resistance zone so i didn't enter here so sometimes when people enter the trade I mean, when they notice this crossing, they will, they will eventually enter at the slighter cross. So sometimes it's not good. Let me show you something. Sometimes it's not good to enter at the first crossing. Now, had it be that you entered here, look at this line. Had it be you entered here because that this thing break out from this resistance zone. It get to this point and pull back and continue to this place. Do you see that? So let's assume that you don't have equity to handle this thing. And it cross. this is where you, and you place your trade. All those things will have been lost. And normally, normally, where you should have put your stop loss should be somewhere here. So can't you see that the market will have closed? So 
it is not good for you to enter the slighted cross. It will allow it to allow the market to cross the last resistance zone. That is what you should do. Look at it here. Look at it here. This is the last resistance zone here. Can you see it? It tried here and pull back, tried again and pull back, tried again and pull back. So had it be that you entered based on this small, small resistance zone here, the market will have reached here, not knowing that from this angle that they are pulling back. So this is why this market pulled back from here. And as it pulled back, it crossed the last support zone. So as it crossed the last support zone, it's now, it now formed a trend line. To get that, it now forms a trend line. So something like this. So it didn't now form the trend line. Do you see it? So normally the first trend line should be like this. So, so it now forms a trend line like this. So once it forms this trend line, so and you know too well that if it crosses in that direction, that the market is changing. So once you notice that it did not cross the trend line, so what you what do you need to do? You now have to allow the market to cross in this direction. So at it cross this direction, check below, you must see an agreement between the moving averages. They must have an agreement of crossing each other. So as they cross each other, which means that the buyer's momentum is not strong. So they don't have choice than to start pushing. So I ran to that time. So I, I needed to wait. So I needed to wait. So when I came back uh, and I entered the market, I saw it then. I know that the market will continue based on my based on my time frame. So I entered from this angle. So immediately I entered, I used my far one's time frame. Look at this thing. I used my tower and star one from time frame. So I allowed watch this thing carefully, please. This is this is this is the market. So this is the market here now. So this is the resistance level here. So I mean in four hours time frame. So this was the this very candle here please follow this thing this candle here was the candle that emerged with the other candle so as that candle followed up so i allow the candle to allow this candle to finish and the next candle opened up so the next candle opened up as a bullish as a bearish as a bullish candle so the team moved down the team moved down, so as why it was moving down, it later went up, and as as it opened, as the thing closed here, immediately the next candle opened up. The candle opened up as a bearish candle and started going down, then which later started moving up, and at this point, as it has crossed this place, and it has crossed the previous candle, which is this one. Now I have seen that this very candle is completely now going to become an uptrend so what do i do i have to enter my trade because it has finally crossed this thing so if i should take this if i should close this market i will close this market based on this resistance but i will allow you to see if it will break through if it didn't push through i have to close the market so these things are very simple and they are they, they are very 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 simple anybody can do it I mean, when I say anybody can do it, anybody can do it. You can apply those things on your C1000 or any of those things. You can do it. So as this market is now, as this market is, it's ranging for scalping. It's ranging for scalping. So how do you trade this market if this thing now? So I will not enter here now because it has not come to, I will allow this thing to cross this very resistance zone here. I mean, this very one here. So I will allow you to cross. So what you need to do, all you need to do is to drop your, this one here. You have to drop your first one here. This is the first thing. So if this market should cross this one now, if this thing should cross it, then you check your five hours time frame. You check your five hours time frame. If you check this thing, now if you check the previous candle, the candle, this very candle, this bearish, this bullish candle, you will know that before this candle will be completed, it should get to this place. So if the next candle should close, if this candle should close here, and another one opens somewhere here and cross this line, by so doing, I now have a conviction 
that this market can give me at least one candle in one of the high time frame by so doing that doesn't mean that this candle will not be spiking it will be spiking and rising spiking and rising spiking and rising but why i will not enter here now is because it can be doing a consolidation it can be doing a consolidation so when you notice that this thing has uh, like this thing that can still spike down and come to this point and later move up and come to this point and it's forming a, a ranging movement so either to do a continuation in a downtrend, I mean, in, in, in spike, then at this point, it can continue to move down. But if this thing continues like this, which means that the sell, the, buyer, the buyer's momentum is strong, that the market is changing the direction. So now look at the same thing I'm telling you. This thing is just simple, even without applying ROSI, MACD, and anything. I just want to show you what you can do using only but moving averages and what you should look at for. And if you look at for all those things, you can enter your trade and the thing can work for you. And I'm telling you the truth that it can work for you. Now look at this thing. As this thing crossed here, as this thing crossed here, look at this thing. If you are if 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 you are careful enough, you notice that look at what I drop here. Look at this thing. Look at this thing here. I drop this thing here. So why did I drop this thing here? Some people that um the last time we had a class with uh, some this it is the same line that i dropped in this place and ever since then the market have never gone down and i will show you some little profit though some of them use demo account while some use life life trade at the end of this video i'm going to show you some of the profits people make when they followed me to do this analysis i'm going to show you some of the things people were able to achieve using this thing it's very very simple people did it and they are succeeding through it so you too can also try this thing and it's not magic you can do it so it is the same strategy that we are using before that people are still using so i'm just trying to show you that this strategy can you can use it to do your uh, the basket indices you can do you you can use it this new market square that just came out now you can use it you can use it for volatility 75 at least i've shown you the market i entered on volatility 75 understand so this is the trade this is the trade do you see it this is the trade so i have a running trade can you see it i enter this thing based on the candlestick i enter this because i know that the next candle that will open after this one is a bearish candle so i have to enter it and this is what it is so do you know that so these things are very simple if you can apply it it's very simple the moving averages are 12 like we know it is 12 this is 26 then i use 50 to balance it as simple as that then you can now use any of the this thing to help yourself what i mean is that you know the parameters that are good for you to use you can apply them like my d but i just want to show you because if you can be able to understand your main chart you have solved at least 60 percent of your problem in forest trading if you can know what is happening in the main chart, every other thing is never a challenge. So let me show you some of the work that people did. It was not me, but some of you under my mentorship scheme that we are able to follow my system, that we are able to pay great attention. And some of them are smiling. Some are also on their demo. But believe me, if they can do this, if they can do this thing up to 10 times, they can do very, very, very well. Believe me. Let me show you. All right, let me show you some of these things. This is one of the jobs done by a person. Do you know what it means that you are training somebody and somebody was able to... The person, I know that the person that has this thing now is also watching this video. So I don't think that I have any reason to lie against anybody. So this is not my account. It was somebody that did this thing. Somebody entered this thing. And somebody is... Another person has this one. Look at this thing. This is, this is one of the tasks followed this is one of the tasks somebody did this one and uh, i am happy uh look at this one somebody did this thing somebody used this mode this is not me this is not gdfs it was somebody the person deposit the person balance was eight and today it is 33 and you know i don't know if this person is from nigeria you know what it means that you have 25 dollars in nigeria seven dollars times i mean seven naira times uh, seven seven hundred naira 
times twenty-five dollars. You know what it means. That person can at least that person can buy food for the family. And this is my dream. This is my hard desire. This is my hard desire. You know, so many of them. So many of them. Though though this one is demo, this person is doing it with demo. But look at the lost size. The lost size is 80 cents. Believe me, if this person can discipline himself to use 80 cents to get 144, $145, believe me, if that person ventured into life trade, because one thing I try to do in a mentorship scheme is to make sure that people don't don't see demo as a no place. It's to make sure that people uh, look at this one. This one used the uh, uh, 60 cents to make $125 or $127. I don't know if this one is life trade or that, but I don't know. I don't actually know. Look at this one. Okay, I think I've shown this one. So a lot of them, I don't want to. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. So a lot of them are here. So please, one of the things you should do for yourself is instead of you to see some possibilities as an impossible things, then I should think you should try to help yourself. All right? Help yourself. My name is GDFX. My dream is to see someone succeed in forest trading. And my heart desire is to make sure that you will not regret because some of you have borrowed money to deposit, you trade and you lose, you do all those things. Please apply caution. Apply caution. Okay? Apply caution. Please remember that in life, things don't come easy. There is no easy way to make money. So if you must do forest trading, you have to pay the price for it. Spend time on your analysis. Don't open your trade and enter market. Have the right have the right psychology. I mean, what goes on in your mind affect the way you trade. The some of you enter trade to make money only to find that you, you have just lost the one you have. Why? Because one of the reasons is because the psychological point of view affects the income and the loss you make on forest trading. That is just the simple truth. So please do yourself a favor to do the right thing and also do it at the right time. My name is GDFS. I'm signing out. See you in your millions. Thank you.